In this video, I will show you the contours needed for a 3D breast plan. First, make sure you're in the right workspace. So I'm in the contouring workspace. And we went over the borders contour in an earlier video. So let's look at the cavity. Cavity was contoured by the position, and it's denoted here in purple. And it includes the surgical clips and any gross disease remaining. And then there's a margin around the cavity, which we've called PTV boost. And this has been resected from the skin and from the pectoral muscle, as you can see. So this defines our PTV boost. And now let's go ahead and look at the heart contour. So at our institution, we contour the heart right where we see the last slice of the vessels. So this slice here would be the very first slice of the heart, right after we see the vessels disappear. And let's go ahead and uh, contour this slice. So I'm going to use the paintbrush tool. I'm going to keep the static brush turned off. So this way this paintbrush knows the density and will stay within the heart tissue as I contour. As you can see, I'm just outlining the heart here. And I want to make sure I avoid the esophagus directly below here. And now I can fill this in and use a larger diameter. Let's keep going inferiorly looking at the heart contour. I can also use the pencil tool to contour the heart. So I'm just clicking around the heart, the pencil tool. And once again, making sure not to include the esophagus. And let's continue inferiorly. Let's do one more slice of the heart here. And we'll follow the heart until it ends. So this is the last slice of the heart. And the other contours that we look at for 3D breast plan is the lung. So I'm going to show you how to contour the left lung here. I'm using the VOI bounding box, making sure that it's just around the area of the lung I want to use. So I'm checking the coronal view as well. I'm going to go to Segmentation Wizard. This is going to help automate the lung contour. Select Lungs. Select Next. This helps auto fill in the lungs. It's not perfect, so I will have to do some hand editing. So I can grab the paintbrush. Once again, as long as the static brush isn't selected, the paintbrush knows density and will stay within the lung. So I can do this on each slice. So you do have to do some hand editing with the lung contour. But the segmentation wizard gets you fairly close. And if you go outside the line, just hold on the shift key. You can erase. Now I'm going to go to post processing, and this will help clean up the structure. So I want to make sure I select fill all cavities and remove parts smaller than 0.5 cm squared. So this helps clean up the contour and uh, reduces the amount of hand editing that I have to do. 
So essentially this is how we would contour the left lung. And I've left the right lung here to show you how it should look when it's complete. So contours that we use for 3D breast planning is the heart, the lungs, cavity, and the PTV boost. And this concludes the contours needed for 3D breast planning.